Wait a minute. Do it again. I have to be able to cue this. Inside my head is a vacuum. I think. Inside my head is a vacuum. Inside my head is a vacuum. I think.
fundamental problems which occur. Let's see if we can get a volume check here. Wait a second, we've got to get a louder volume. Okay. There are certain fundamental problems which come across when you try to be existential in rock music. Now everyone says that you're playing to an audience lower than the comprehension level that you desire. Dig it. Therefore, it is for that reason that we have come across a solution. And that's this. Discussing the existential vacuum of one's thought <laughs> as we go across cross-country. Testing the mentalities of the New York disco scene, we pitter-patter our little feet as we go across the country, across Ohio, working our way through Colorado, uh, the Rocky Mountains, far out. The Rocky Mountains. Finally, we go across the desert, working our way through Nevada, working our way into Southern California. What will happen? We all know that everything's a lot hipper there, and that people understand what it's like to be freaked out from too many acid trips. And as we work our way across the desert into Los Angeles, we can hear the melodic functions of Richard Haas as he plays his magic marimba into the hearts of thousands. Paul Canizzo has had a certain feeling inside for those with existential philosophies. Having worked in a liquor store in Passaic, New Jersey, Paul Canizzo knows that there are certain avant-garde minds wandering around the streets. <laughs> Tell us of one of your experiences. Well, if you can imagine Wait a, minute. a car that runs on salt water, there's only one we're now going to get it straight from Paul Canizzo about what it's like. I'm playing the guitar with one leg. I'm trying to stand up with no strap, trying to think of something to say. This is ridiculous. I'm starting to wobble here. So anyway, the car, it runs on salt water. Get your hands out of my shoe. Tell, tell us about the guy who's going to make you a millionaire. What, the guy who had to give me a million dollars? Counting bottles at a liquor store? I can't keep time and talk like this and stand on one leg. Let me tell you, this is unreal. I mean, what a thing to do to a person. I'm, well, I'm actually just playing on a foot and one toe over here. This is, why do I gotta keep walking over here?
the competitive forces in California. Wail out, Scott D. of Colby. Wail out. California, I can get almost as philosophical as George Duke. <laughs> it's, a, it's a vacuum. I think. Yeah. That's right. Some reverb, so it sounds real spacey. Tom <laughs> what do you think it's going to be like when we finally get to California and show them our avant-garde weird music to the record companies? It's not going to be any different. I know one thing's for sure. It's going to be really funny listening to this in the car. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. Okay, now wait a minute. All right. Yeah. I know I'll probably switch to some other track at this point. <laughs> not if you take a marimba solo again. Go ahead. Make this one a good one. No, not no accompaniment. How is that? Keep going.
assistant chief like me. 